You know, ever since the earliest settlers began to colonize America, folks have been fear, have feared and also been fascinated by the awesome destruction power of tornadoes. In his new book, Storm Kings, the untold history of America's first tornado chasers, Lee Sandlin takes a look at the quest to understand, predict, and cope with supercell tornadoes in America. Thanks for being with us this morning. Oh, well, my pleasure. Let's first start with Ben Franklin because a lot sure. of people equate him with the kite flying and right, lightning right. experiment, but little do they know that yes. he was one of the first tornado chasers on horseback. As far as I can tell, he was the first wow. person to actually chase a tornado, and yes, he did it on horseback. With his son. <laughs> with his son. They were out traveling through the uh, uh, the countryside and a small tornado formed. Everybody else in their party held back, and he went racing after on horseback. And according to one of his letters that I found, he was riding alongside the tornado, lashing at it with his riding crop. Wow. Trying to get it to, I don't know whether that's true or not, but he claimed that that's what he was doing, to see whether he could get the tornado to break up. You know, it's yeah. interesting, they've always been a controversial topic in, in meteorology. Yeah. And, and even after a couple of meteorologists predicted uh, a tornado in 1948 at Tinker Air Force Base, it yeah. really wasn't until a young Japanese meteorologist right. in the 50s yeah. kind of was Fujita. a game changer. Yeah, yeah, he was. He'd come over, he'd gotten fascinated with tornadoes when he was in Japan. Uh, he was very interested in violent events. And in fact, the first event he studied was the Nagasaki nuclear blast. And, um, and he'd come to America mainly because of his fascination with violent weather like tornadoes. And uh, he was the first person, I mean, my book is a long history of how people began developing a knowledge of what tornadoes were, yeah. but he was really the first person to get the sort of intuitive sense. And our own severe weather were. expert actually studied yeah. under uh, yeah, Dr. Fujita. Yeah, he was a hugely inspiring teacher by all accounts. And speaking of yeah. Dr. Fujita and severe weather expert Dr. Greg Forbes, there are multiple people in history that have argued over how tornadoes this, have formed. This has always been one of the, the problems with tornadoes is people who are experts who are not interested in listening to other expert views. <laughs> so, well, yeah. we, we know a lot of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lee Sandlin, thank you so much. It's a fascinating book. Oh, we have more yeah, information yeah. on it on our website yeah. at weather.com.